did it. Boom, classy boom. you, classy fella. Boom, yeah, I might just step on oh, lever. No. Boom, and quite unclever. Yes, the ass can shoulda known better. That's right, boom. ring ring chat. Boom, get fed up. I wore them all. I wore them and get. Uh, one, no stop, no two, hands they up. They should what? Three, right. they hands up. Yes. Please, they just lost the hands plot. Up. Yes. Man, cause I'm just on the climb. <laughs> hands on the side, <laughs> hands on the side when I ride. UK stand up. Right. As you can see, we're back with another video on how to you know change the tempo right of a fight. If you're losing a fight, you know maybe what you're doing mm. is not working. Do you know what I'm saying? So you might have to change the tempo. You know. This is going to be more of an educational video, so I appreciate it if you could stay throughout and like, comment, and subscribe. At the moment, I'm eating Jaffa cakes Step right with Nesquik. Let's get right into the video. Let's get right into the video. And what you can see here, I'm flicking out the jab, just flicking it out, tap, tap, tap. Give them something to worry about, you know? Give them something to worry about. It's not working, he's doing the same thing, so it's really even right now. I am a bit tired, so I do have to watch. One thing that you'll see here, that's not a good thumbnail, I'm getting smacked up. I I show the overhand quite a lot. And what happens when you show the overhand? They start to predict it. That's why you gotta always adapt. You get me? Yes. Great combination by him. I change levels and I duck and weave and avoid most of the damage. That's what you gotta do, man. Now, I don't like staying forward like this or covering my face. Cool, what I'm doing now, I'm just flicking out the jab. It's a very poor jab, very lazy jab. I'm extremely tired and inexperienced. This was last year. But you'll see how you change the tempo of a fight. Cool. What I'm doing now is I'm being very aggressive because I don't like losing for more than 30 seconds straight. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm being very aggressive, just being on the front foot, trying to see if I can... I'm naturally a counter puncher. So trying to see if I can draw out a jab or a right hand from him, slip it and counter him. Let's see if I can do it. He's got a very good jab there, you see. He's got a very beautiful jab, so it is hard to get in there. And that's a nice right hand. You know, I try to block it with the elbow, you know. I always keep my elbow tucked in when I see the right hand coming, because I don't like getting hit with that. Cool. You know, sometimes when I'm struggling in a fight, yep, I'll go to southport, and this is why I say, yep. Being a switch hitter is not mandatory. They always say, stay in your, you know, in your, in your stance, you know. I chose to ignore all my coaches and practice Southpaw and they would always tell me off and I practiced it for months and months because I know if Orthodox isn't working, I've got a backup plan. You know what I'm saying? I can I can go Southpaw, I can counter punch in Southpaw, I can go aggressive in Southpaw and this is what I do. So I go in Southpaw and I hit him with the backhand twice. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he's not expecting it. Do you know what I'm saying? Cool, you know? Also, you can do the right uppercut in southpaw, which you can't, obviously you can't do the right lead uppercut. In orthodox, it has to be in southpaw. See, and that's what I do. If you see here, uppercut. Quite simple, man. Cool. Cool. Just, okay, wait. Wait back. Pivot. As I said in my previous video, pivoting is vital. If you're not pivoting and you're doing this, yeah, you're just blocking, yeah. You're not going to make it. You need to be pivoting around. I don't like getting hit. And this is where I turn up. Right, boom. There. This is very important now. You know, I told you I was throwing the, showing the right over and right. Yes. I show it. 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 And I come with the... He jabs my head off. I can't lie, he jabs my head off. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is changing the tempo of the fight. I will happily take a punch to fuck up everything else. And let's see what happens. Jab, jab. Now I'm dead, now I'm finding my range. Yeah, because he's getting greedy. Yeah, he doesn't like being on the back foot because he knows you can't win on the back foot. He's getting greedy, yeah? Boom, let's rewind that back. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, boom. Boom, boom, family. boom, 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 bo
That was a good thing by him. Look at this now. Now look at this combination by him, yeah? Actually, fuck it. Let's just see him in fast motion because it is a fast combination. So let's see him fast. One, two, three. Real normal. But I roll with it to minimise the damage. Now here you'll see I put my guard up. Very, very rare I do this. Why do I put my guard up? If I'm tired and I know I'm not, I don't have the energy in my legs to pivot because I've been doing previous rounds before this, I'll put my guard up and they'll think I'm tired. And then what do I do? I come out of it, maybe give them a right hand or two and show them, listen, mate, don't forget defense. I'm really out here. Step. Boom. Step right Typical. And I hit him with it again, two times in a row. And then I cover up. Cover up. Mm. And now you'll see. You know, if you've been watching my videos, you know I do turn up in the last bit of, bit of the fight. Jeez. Boom. Yeah. Boom. No. Distance, distance. I'll keep... I, listen. I will keep hitting you with the rear hand if you're not defending it. As you can see here, bro, I literally did it three times in a row. I did it three times in a row because I can. Boom. One. Two. Hands up. Three. Hands up. Please. Hands up, man. It's not a joke. No disrespect here. This is this is this is this is my gym. You know what I'm saying? I go to many different gyms. No disrespect to the fighters. We're all great friends. By the end of the day, we all learn from each other. You know? Boom. And I and I and I move and I move backwards out of the way. The left hook. I don't want to get hit with that. That is a beautiful right hand by him to end the fight. Do you know what I'm saying? You see it? One, two, three. And I got lazy there. Yes. I think I rolled it off my shoulder, to be honest. But yeah, man. See, that's how you change the tempo of a fight. You know, with counters, slips, foot movement, you know, and just general ring IQ. Do you know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll see you in a bit. Bless.